Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Okay, that was loud. With the second game out, I kind of have fears to play some Nickelodeon Super Smash Brothers. Let's go. I kinda wanna go back through both games and do a few battles. Also, just kinda see how it feels. But I do plan to do some of the stuff. I actually never played arcade mode in the original All-Star Ball, and I wanna do the roguelike mode for All-Star 2, that's for sure. And don't mind this, because I'm playing the Switch version. Select your brawler! Yes, this change in roster. Actually, I guess now's a good time to see who actually got taken out. He seems for starters, like, I know Sandy was taken out of the second game, Tom, uh, Lincoln for some reason, well, she's still in, Lucy's still in, seems like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got swapped, so instead of Leonardo and Michelangelo, it's actually Raphael and Donatello. I think Shredder's actually a boss in the robot mode. I'm not too sure about that. Other than that, not playable. I'm pretty sure they took him out. Invader Zim. One of Nickelodeon's greatest supervillains. Don't worry, he's still in. Of course they want to take him out. There's no cat dog. There's no Helga. There's no... Oh, Blina! Kinda of sucks. But we got Jimmy. It's cool how they actually made use of some of the DLC characters and actually made them playable. From the start. I think. I actually don't remember if April May was one of the. April O'Neil! April O'Neil. Well, I say April May. I don't remember if April O'Neil wasn't one of the free DLC. But as for the paid DLC. From other DLC, we got Garfield, Jenny, and even Rocco, who are actually playable in base. You know what? Let's start playing the game. They don't have much in the way of costumes here. You know what? I'm gonna start out with my main. So, I mean, in this game, I mean SpongeBob and Sandy. SpongeBob! So, you know, we're gonna have some fun with that. I don't think I'll start to level 5. Yeah, let's do, let's play Kaito. Let's have the ball. Lincoln Low! Rest in peace. Helga! And in this game, they only have one costume piece. Wait. Okay, I guess I never saw Helga's costume. Anyways, I want to go with the soda drinking class. Select your arena! So, good old Spongebob. Spongebob versus Lincoln Loud versus Helga. My room is like so hot right now. I'm trying to keep it together. And I forgot to bring my water over here, so I'm kind of pissed. Ready? I'll be sure to cut out some of those bodies. Since it's definitely a lot slower oh. since I'm playing on the Switch. Imagine this! Jeez, let me get a hit. <laughs> so much for the Whoopsie! The one, the one set of games you can actually spike on low percent. Why was 
I'm getting good. Oh. 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 Select your brawler. Sandy. And Sandy. Okay. I'm gonna continue part of your case. I didn't make it into the other game. April only you. Actually, I can't see. I was gonna say it was really Select your stage. I was gonna do Duck Duck Pie, but I was gonna play as Super Trump, so I'll, I'll do him at that stage. Play nice. I keep reminding myself to cut oh, out the extended There's something I find about find funny about Sandy. So that's her last one. For some reason. So notice how when you last with someone, they get pushed towards you? That was how Sandy was day one. There was an update that nerfed her to where the lasso wouldn't bring, would just stun the opponent, wouldn't bring them towards you. And then they buffed it again. Oh, what a hit! To make the lasso do exactly what it did in day one. Well, they literally nerfed Sandy just to buff her again. At that point, I don't see what the point of. At that point, I don't see what the point of the upgrades was. But we were probably getting complaints. This is my guess. I definitely didn't like that. That ruined all my strategy for Sandy. Just to stun the opponent in the last one. Uh, so it's kind of fucked up beating up a blind person. Perfect! That's really the other thing I know about Tom. He doesn't really know anything about it. I don't know a lot of things about him. Like Go ahead! I'm a SpongeBob person. Even the new seasons, I, I know people say they don't like the new seasons. I found action too. I think we found some funny shit in the new seasons. I guess that's just the Halo effect of Spongebob and Bam, I think myself. And same thing with Freely on here. I kinda like the music from Freely on here. To be honest, I don't know what's going on with that one live action. I've never seen it and... I probably might, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm just out loud. Player so that. 3 oh, there. is defeated. Oh, they decided to just change it to live action. I'm not talking about the... I'm not talking about the fairly off-parents movies where Drake... It was Drake, right? 
play oh, to me. I'm one of the victorious I'm one of the victorious stars. Play to me. No, I'm talking about like the actual like fairly up here that's on the And that's that! Just like real life kids the is winner. Cosmo Water is still animated. Lot to say there, surprisingly. Select your brawler. Now, let's do Pew Neutron. Pew Neutron. Like Leonardo. Napto. Yeah, no. Select good. your stage. Got, got Get ready! I recorded Go time, for. bro, so I Let actually was scared that it wasn't okay. Fight! Oh, guys. Oh, no. But I like, better say that. I don't want to, like, spend a whole half hour doing all this shit. Yeah. Yeah. I would've stopped my recording anyway, before heading into our concert. I said, I was like, oh, yeah. Major damage! Anything give us father love? He has a very bloody recovery. I remember when the new time first released in I definitely had a lot of fun with the movies. Definitely a very fun character to play with and the music of the stage. Playtime's over. You can grab your two in the air. Can't do that in your beloved Smash Brothers, can you? Outstanding performance! Perfect! Unfortunately, this play is similar to like the half of the technical military. There's no. There's nothing related to the fact that there's no final smash equivalent in this game. It's in the second 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 game. I'm winning the two matches. Playing with like the two new main, like the two new main, like the two main new characters, Squidward and Jimmy. I don't know how long I'm going to do that. Oh, so I just realized I played April in the other match. I don't know why she's actually in the second game. I guess I just felt like I have to Outstanding performance! Alright, I'll play a shred of the next one. Until next time, the winner! Don't tell the others! Pretty good donuts! Select your fighter. Shredder. I do Redder. Adder Toastman. Oh, oh Lena! Select your stage! Now, there's one more turtle left. I'll do them against this one. Oh, Lena! 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 Oh, Lena!
real monsters. I barely know anything about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles either. Get ready! Anytime you're ready! Like in their teenage years, they're all grown up. They still do that kind of stuff. Maybe out of nostalgia. Right now you have a monster and two grown men question mark fighting. And it's a weird gulch. Outstanding performance! Whoa. I guess I never played a shredder because I don't remember that at all. You are He's got he's got he's got that separate off the shredder. Freaking shredder has a separate off the Select your brawler. Michelangelo. That's not his name. We'll make him a go against the SpongeBob. SpongeBob. What I just said. We'll make him go against the SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Cowboy Patrick. Sandy. Select your arena. This 
anybody even really like this stage, the Ren and Stinky stage? Because why? Why does it, why is it like this? I'm not saying I hate it, but it's inconvenient. Just trying to see the stage for a second. Play nice. This is gonna be one yes, sweet yes. victory. But also, I can spend them. Go! Oh. Yeah. 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 not here, so you can't have given them his go.
defeated. Outstanding performance. Ouch! Finish. The winner. Cowabunga! Cowabunga! Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2! Here we go. At least they make this game a lot easier to navigate in terms of the menu. But yeah, they kind of just smash ultimate this thing. Yeah, they kind of just smash ultimate thing where you choose the stage first. I'm curious about what some of these things even mean. What's the trophy for? I guess these mean these are legal stages. Whatever. Where can we go? Start with the chum bucket. Okay. You know, I haven't played this plankton yet at all, so let's have some fun with that. Sheldon Plankton. Plankton! Don't call me Sheldon! And a bunch of crossing references I don't quite understand. Like he lost a tooth. Okay. You know, we'll do toothless. Ah! Keep it gonna have to Alright. Let's actually start with some of the newer characters as well, against the new characters. The two Manny Rivera, El Tigre, El Tigre, the Tiger, and in this game they actually have a lot more costumes. I, I don't want to do Jimmy or Squid right now because I just want to play with them again. The Angry Beavers are here. Beavers. <laughs> they get shirts. To be honest, I kind of want to see one where they swap the colors. You know, I, I know they're not new characters, but let's just have a lot of characters on stage right now. We got freaking two sets of ice climbers. Red and Stimpy. We got two sets of ice climbers right now, bro. Astronauts. Whoa. Yeah, I wanna do astronauts. Everyone's got a cost in Three, two, one! Chum is so bad it hurts your skin. Okay, so the angry beavers actually swap out. So it's not literally two sets of ice climbers. Also, Plankton's mech is so slow. I'm on the left side of the stage, guys. Just look at him. He's so slow. Whoa. down there. Oh, fuck. Up and down. Oh, I don't want no happy, happy, joy, joy. Get out of here. Don't call me Sheldon! I 
they did that to themselves. The Vat of Chum is toxic. He's the most toxic thing in the world. Hey yo, Mr. Tiger, he somehow stopped three lives. I think he's trying as hard as to get to me, but... Goddamn, AI can be dumb. I know, I know, I know, I, I know I left him at a low level because I'll start... No, no, he's scared. I don't know what he's trying to avoid. But he's definitely not gonna get over here if he keeps doing that. Oh, fuck, come on. It was on my mind. I think I broke El Tigre. Oh, for sure. I think I broke him. Whatever, now we can have some fun. Now let me damage you so I can actually use my ultimate. Entertaining at all. Man, I'm walking right towards him. <laughs> the trash bag? You know what? Since we can do this now, we might as well. Start using some Time ultimates. For destruction! If the game didn't break you, I certainly did. Into a million pieces at that. <laughs> I think sometimes just a bit of a glitch in the Switch version where the characters don't actually say anything in Victory. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to. Apparently, Ren and Stimpy killed themselves twice. Alright, let's change the stage. Because this stage is just bound to break any character named Manny Rivera. <laughs> you know what, Jimmy Flab. You know what, we'll play as Jimothy Neutron now. Yes, Jimothy. Because fuck you, I can say what I want. Cool Jimmy. Karate Jimmy. Green Lantern Jimmy. You know, I want to be cool. Alright, we're gonna swap Manny out. The new our newer Avatar character, Azula. Azula! You know, I'll put him on level 3. Okay, swap him out. We'll do Raphael, and then next time we'll do Donatello. Raphael! No, we have two Hey Arnold characters this time, so you know what? Grammy Gertrude, or Grammy Gertie. You know, Arnold's... Arnold's medically insane, or clinically insane grandmother. Grandma Gertie? Who allowed her to be here and why? Three, two, one. I want to be Timothy Neutron. Unfortunately, there's no Timothy Turner. Jimmy Neutron, ready for action. Wow, 
Why did none of them start moving? I'm cool as fuck, boy. I actually wonder how Timmy has not- or Jimmy, how has he not skipped the grave? He's like the smartest piece of shit around. Are you sure this is okay for the Fire Nation here? For Miss Fire Nation here? Okay, this barrier won't mean nothing. It just ma it just makes it look like an aquarium, but not an active one. Yo, Grandma! Yo, Grandma! Oh, she enjoys that. Oh, I did get someone. I got Raphael. Brain Blast! My voice cracked. The biggest brain blast I've had in years. Also, Granny was on fire. I think. <laughs> Low bite. deal with here. Zula. Also, apparently we have a lot of Fire Nation reps. Why? Who thought this was a good idea? Granny just paces back and forth. She said she just seems to be like, oh, what's the next round? Oh, it's over already. What's the next round? Like I told you, she's mentally ill in, in the actual show. It's a Manny Rivera stage. You know, I kind of want to play as Ember. I didn't, I didn't play as her earlier. Like I said, I only played Squidward and Jimmy. You know, we're gonna do Ember. Ember McClay! I barely, I barely know anything on Danny Phantom. Actually, I don't even think I was that big on Danny Phantom when I was younger. I just prefer to watch fairly often. Anyways, let's do the other. Donna, hello. Yeah, walk two. Our other Hey Arnold character. Gerald! Actually, I think that's it for the newcomers. At least until 2024 with the DLC. We're actually gonna get Mr. Krabs, so that'll be fun. Do you know what? We have Ember. Let's bring in Danny as well. But yeah, I said that's it for the newcomers because I want to play a Squidward. Danny Phantom! Do 
Ooh, the black one. Oh, hello, I like this one. Where he's actually a phantom. We can make him a bathtub player. It's is that is that gonna be racist? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that just to just to be safe. Also, what I find concerning is you look where his hair is, there's a bit of skin there. I'm assuming that I'm assuming that whole knock is it's just his head. So it's just like has this long stick for a head and with hair just covering it. So I'm I'm scared to know what he's look like bald. Three, two, one. Actually, the costume I chose for Jero is that any better? He's decked out and blinged. Also, uh, I regret my choice for Danny Phantom. So he looks so cursed. The only thing I know about Ember is that she's one of like she's definitely one of the enemy ghosts, and the way she gets her power is from people's cheering, which makes sense because she's supposed to be a rock star. She has to seem to be moments where she's friends with Danny. Believe there's a, a friggin' Thanksgiving special for Danny Phantom. Yeah, speaking of which, Thanksgiving's coming up. I can't really say I have much to be thankful for, but with everything that's going on for any events. I, I guess I can say I'm thankful that everyone's persevering. Yeah, we're a family and that everything that's going on can be resolved without many more casualties. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now because I don't like being stupid. already dead somehow. The curse of Danny. Okay, I was wondering who was saying ninja slide for a second there. Maybe the only one here is actually a ninja. Oh uh, great, it's just me and Gerald. Oh, you mean Gerald and I should be better. Against a kid, either way. Also, I just realized they're pouring in Avatar stars just as much as Super Smash Bros. pulled in fire on new characters. Because in the DLC, apparently we're supposed to be getting two Avatar characters. Then there's one Spongebob character, Mr. Kraft, and one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle character. But the fact that two of them aren't even from the, are from the same series, why? Why can't we have more unique characters? I'll give you a ticket to my show as a consolation prize. You know what, let's have a tired SpongeBob bash. Plankton's coming back. You know what? We're about to play a squiddy. 
Band Geeks uniform, which I really like. This Viking uniform. Painting uniform. Yeah, I love Band Geeks. You know, where is it? Where is it? Merman costume. The soda drinking hat. This work uniform. And the Quickster. You, you want to see him fight this match? You want to see him do it again? Okay, next up, we have Pat. Ah, his wrestling uniform, I think. Barnacle Boys, makes sense. But here we have the elastic waistband. He can finally touch his toes. What really irks me is that Squidward doesn't have its Krakatoa. Like, why didn't they just- why didn't they give him Krakatoa? And then there's no Sandy, so he can't get Miss Invisible either. Whatever. Plankton! Mectonimo Bay is coming back. No costume for you. Three, two, one. It also just occurred to me that tomorrow night is the release of the final wave for Mario Kart 8. What do you guys think about this? There's definitely a lot of missed opportunities, and I'm sad that certain maps didn't make it back in. Like, why do we need a fifth Rainbow Road? I don't care if it's the Wii Rainbow Road. I never played Mario Kart Wii. Honestly. Honestly, besides one of those, I would have loved to see Post Factory from Mario Kart Wii. But besides from that, Piranha Plant Pipeline is the only Mario Kart Tour track that didn't make it back at all. Which also sucks, Bowls. But especially if that really is the... The one scrap Mario Kart DS course that everyone is raving about. It sucks even more that it's not gonna make any type of return. And I still don't- like, I would love a Mario Kart 9, but at this, at this rate, I don't really see a point in this. Especially on the same console. Like, if- like, if the next generation Switch is real, then yeah, put Mario Kart 9 on that. Or just put Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Deluxe. Oh yeah, by the way, Squidward's up attack is Krakatoa. But you know what's better than Krakatoa? Voila! Handsome Squidward. Ain't nothing sexier than a handsome Squidward. Also, he gets hit by a shoe this time, rather than a door. Also, the Quickster isn't that quick. Us on. I still don't like. I still not too used to making combos while sacrificing your slime gauge, so I'm probably just gonna avoid doing that for now. I don't think I did. I think I just stunned him. I just want to get used to it now. As I even brought it up. Patrick made use of his sun gauge. 
where Spongebob made use of the sign dude. Oh gosh, that's so many sound. I'm just listening to it now. I guess that's one way to do it, just stun him in place for a little longer. Oh, I guess to extend hitboxes. Sweet victory. Let's have some more fun. Last match. Go to wrestling. I really want to play Spongebob to see how different he is in this game. Spongebob! Patrick! How do I take the of that? It'll just be Spongebob and Patrick. Actually no, Patrick has a fitting costume. There we go. I don't know if Thunder has a wrestling costume. Now he has soda drinking that. You know what? I'm on the clock now. I got my work hat and everything. Three, two, I'm gonna be one. battling Rick here. His name's not Rick. I really would have loved to see if they could have done anything with the school Patrick and Spongebob from the actual wrestling episode. Chicken, I wanna do some chicken. Come on, I just I just got out of using Fan Geek's Squidward. Now Sponge it's now SpongeBoy and Rick. Oh, he actually uses his karate glove instead of his neck. Alright. He still has the imagination rainbow. <laughs> he can actually charge it up. Come on. Stop using your butt later on. Actually, wait. I, I forgot that the slime can also be used to power up your moves. I just want to do that. And he has a slapping instead of his bubbles. Get over here, Pat Rise. 
you kidding me? Damn it. That would have been a perfect tender. Aw, oh, damn it. Literally the first ever stock I've lost in All-Star Brawl 2. I have not lost a stock until now. Patrick ruined that for me. So now I gotta murder him. The reef blower. Oh, yeah, pussy. Also, he doesn't have his regular spikes. They really feel the need to nerf that. I'm not ready for you to die yet, come here. Oh, they have like made an actual Smash Bros grab. Wait, does that mean I can't- uh, I probably can't grab any air anymore. I got the special matchup in the first episode. I'm really trying to make sure he doesn't die. Right now. You know, yeah, start hitting me. There we go. I'm here, Pat Rise. Now the good old question. Will, Pat, will SpongeBob ever pass his driving test? He will not. Ever. And he knows it too. Yeah. He's got that one dance. He's got that who put you on the planet dance. Anyway, so yeah, obviously this video is not sponsored, but I would I would be happy to see other people play this. It is available on all current gen on current gen PlayStation and Xboxes. And is on PC. So like I do recommend this game, just probably not on Switch, just for the sake of load times, but it is pretty fun on Switch as well. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And we'll do more with Nickelodeon All-Star Ball in the future, so see you guys then.